Thinking of jumping in puddles? Let's paint our rain boots with some flowers growing out of the top, because why not? Let's get started. All right, it is time for us to begin our rain boot and flower bouquet. Such a cute combination. We're going to try to make our rain boots look shiny, which is something you will also be doing in your teapot painting, where we leave some white of the paper to make the boots look like they're smooth and shiny. I like to do this by painting around the area I want the shine to be and then filling in the rest so that way I know where not to paint by designating that first. Now to decide where your shiny bits go you want to think about the shape of the boot. So I like that the long rectangles kind of flow with the curve of the boot because this is how the light would reflect off of it so we're not only making it look shiny but we're also showing how the 3d form of the boot looks so think about that and leave areas white to show that reflective surface since it's a rubbery boot now you can see that i'm doing it in red which looks kind of pink when it is painted lightly which i'm always doing a lighter layer first and then adding shadows to that light layer if you're doing any other color, it would be the same process. Paint it lightly, meaning adding more water to the color, and then go back in and add your shadows once it has been painted with that first light layer. Even the boot in the background is going to have the same type of highlight to make sure it follows the curve of the boot. You could even put a highlight in a separate spot since the first highlight would be kind of hidden behind this front boot. So maybe I'll put a reflection somewhere else, or I could just move that reflection up a little bit to just kind of not cheat exactly, but make sure you can see the highlight because that really shows the texture of the boot's surface by making it look shiny. I originally left this center design empty because I didn't know if I'd want to choose a second color to go with it. So you could do something like that where you pick a second color to create some interest or design. I decided to go with more red but just keep it a lighter value than the rest of the boot so it feels like an accent or a design but it still is connected. I again have a highlight in this section and then um, I spread out the other light colors to fill it. Now I realized that it wasn't significantly lighter so I'm going and adding a bit of darker paint to the other areas of the boot which will then make that design look even lighter in comparison. So you can always add layers of paint to make things look darker. Just adding another layer on top will automatically make it darker uh, even if the paint is exactly the same. Even if the ratio of paint to water is the same, by layering it we make it look darker. Now for painting all of our plants and flowers, poking out of the boots, we're going to be using lots of greens. I like to mix greens together, meaning I use my green paint, but not just plain green. I add a little bit of yellow, a little bit of blue, or a little bit of brown to it to change that value. Here I've added some yellow to make it a nice vibrant yellow green, and that'll make it look different when I use a different green on a different plant. I'm choosing the lightest values to paint first, so yellow green is going to be lighter than maybe a blue green or a brown green. So I'm doing the yellow green first because then if I accidentally get any of it on other parts of my flowers or leaves, I can cover it up. You can always go darker with watercolor, but it's very difficult to go lighter, especially with paint. I do sometimes use a white pen, a gel pen, to go lighter and add accents and highlights, and that's something you can see more information about my supplies at the beginning of the coloring book. But if you want to do it with just plain paint and the supplies you got with the book, it's best if you leave areas lighter instead of having to put light on top of dark. Here I've switched my green. It's a little bit more vibrant, a little more plain green, and that's showing a little bit different and creating variety from that yellow green I initially used. It's also a great way to create shadows. So I could make some of those grassy stems look darker if they are further back in the pile of plants and leave some of those lighter ones near the front to make it look like there are some under shadow as they layer and build up the bouquet. When it comes to the flowers, I like to add a yellow center. That's pretty common amongst flowers, doesn't really matter what the real flower is, you can paint these flowers any way you want. I was kind of picturing Daisy when I drew them, but then I realized I'd have to leave them white, which I could do, but here I really wanted some kind of goldeny orange color, so I decided to do that. So when you're painting your flowers, you can really make them any color you want. 
Again, I'm starting with trying to do a light value of whatever color I pick because I can always go darker, but hopefully it's just dark enough to cover up any green that might have accidentally gotten on the petals and then I can cover those up a little bit. I'm using the tippy point of my paintbrush to make sure I can get those little tiny details, but don't beat yourself up about getting outside the line sometimes. It's fun to be loose and messy. You will still have a masterpiece. So pick your color, go on top of those petals, Now I'm adding some final details like shadows on the edges of this buckle, the black outlines on the trim and the sole of the boot just to create some contrast and give it some interest. Adding those black edges just changed it up for me. I could have chosen any color to make those details in. You could look at a real pair of boots and see what they pick. It's totally up to you. Again, making paying attention to those shadows. So if you look under the heel, I tried to make the part underneath a little darker to make it look like there is a shadow cast and the edge a little bit lighter. If you want to create more form, you can make some of the petals that look like they're more behind a little bit darker by adding a second layer or a little bit more opaque uh, mix of color to them and that can create some variation in your petals if that's something you want. Hopefully you had a lot of fun practicing creating value with these boots, leaving those highlights to make them look shiny, having fun picking colors for your flowers and plants and all those things. I'm sure you did fantastic. I hope you're proud of your work and I will see you in the next one.